Hello students. So we have studied in the previous session that what is coordinate geometry. A coordinate geometry deals with placing of a point or you can say finding out the exact position of a given point in a plane or in a space. Plane means it has two direction length and breadth that is why it is known as 2D and space means it has three direction so it is known as 3D. Clear? So this is coordinate geometry deals with. For example, you can say you know to draw a diagram or you know to draw a picture of a monkey or of a boss you need a piece of paper or you need a sheet of paper. Okay. Similarly, in order to represent a point, in order to find out the exact position of a given point, we also need a frame. Okay. We also need a piece of paper like frame. And that frame is known as frame of reference. Clear? So what is that? That is frame of reference. What is frame of reference? The frame where a point is being represented. Okay. Where a point is being represented. And you have to keep in mind a point is represented in two frames. Okay. What are the two frames? So a point can be represented in two frames. What are they? The first one is known as Cartesian. Cartesian. Cartesian coordinate system. Okay. This is a first frame where you can represent a point and the second one is Polar coordinate system. Polar coordinate system. And individual will learn about what is Cartesian and what is polar coordinate system. Clear? So, first talk about what is Cartesian coordinate system. Okay. So, what is Cartesian coordinate system? In the previous session, we have studied that a point can be represented in a plane like this white board. Okay. And in this whiteboard, there are two axes, isn't it? This axis is known as x-axis, x-axis, and this axis is known as y-axis. Understood? Clear? Now you can see this is an x-axis, and this axis is parallel to the base, so it is known as horizontal axis. Okay, so this is known as horizontal axis. Note down everything that I have written. Now this x axis is known as horizontal axis. Clear? Otherwise, or the other name of x axis is abscissa. What is abscissa? Okay, let me erase it. The other name of x-axis is abscissa. So x-axis is also known as abscissa. Understood? Now, similarly, this y-axis, okay, this y-axis is just like this here, and this is perpendicular to the base. If this is the base, suppose this is the base. Then this is y axis, then y axis is perpendicular to the base, hence the y axis is known as vertical axis. Okay? It is known as vertical axis. So x axis is known as horizontal axis and y axis is known as vertical axis. Similarly, the other name of y axis is ordinate. What is it? The other name is Ordinate O R D I N A T E here and the point where both the x axis and the y axis will intersect each other is called origin. Okay, so origin is a point where both the x and the y axis will meet each other. 
Understood? Now consider suppose this is a number line and we know in the number line if we will move towards the right of 0 then we will get only the positive value. So it is the origin, origin means 0 and if we move towards its right or towards the x axis then we will get only the positive value of x axis and from 0, if we move towards the left of x axis, then we will get the negative value of x axis. So, towards the right, we have only positive value of x axis and towards the left, we have negative value of x axis. Negative value of x axis. Similarly, if we will consider only y axis, then if we move towards the top of this axis or towards y axis from 0, from origin, then we will get only positive value. So, towards the top, we have to get only positive value of y axis and if we will move towards the down, then we will get negative value of x axis. So, if we move towards like this, that is negative value of x, y axis. Okay. Y axis. Towards right, it is x axis. Towards left, x axis negative value. Towards top, y axis positive and towards down y axis negative value. Understood? Now, this terminal is known as x and this terminal is known as x dash. This terminal is known as y only and this terminal is known as y dash. And I have told you that this coordinate system, this coordinate system is divided into four parts. What are the parts? This is the first part. This is known as quadrant 1. And this is the second part. This is known as quadrant 2. You can write like this or you can write like quadrant 1, quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3 and this is quadrant 4. Clear? So, the system that I have drawn here is known as coordinate system. Out of the two systems that we have studied, that one is coordinate system, Cartesian coordinate system, other is polar coordinate system. So, this one is the Cartesian coordinate system. Okay. Where we have four quadrant, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, two axis, X and Y axis. Axis is known as horizontal axis or abscissa. Y axis is known as vertical axis or ordinate. Clear? Now, the distance from 0 to 1, from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4 is always 1 unit. Clear? The distance from 0 to 1 is 1 unit. The distance from 1 to 2 is also 1 unit. The distance from 2 to 3 also 1 unit. Similarly, the distance from 0 to minus 1 is 1 unit towards left. The distance from minus 1 to minus 2 also 1 unit. The distance from 0 to 1 towards the top also 1 unit. And the distance from 0 to minus 1 towards the down also 1 unit. Okay. So, this is the basic frame of reference that is known as Cartesian coordinate system. Okay. And what we have studied that every point, every point in a plane require two conditions. Okay. For example, in order to reach at your friend's house, you need two conditions. One is street number, another is apartment number. Clear? Okay. Similarly, in order to represent a point in this coordinate system, okay, in this coordinate system, we also need two conditions. Suppose here is a point. Here is a point. Okay. 
so in order to reach at this point we have to fast go through this direction this direction is known as x direction and again at this point you have to move towards the top top means which direction towards y axis because top most position is the y axis clear so first you have to go x axis then you have to go y axis so in order to represent a point on any plane you need two conditions one is x axis x length and then y length so this is known as order pair order pair i have told you this is known as order pair clear now so every point on a plane is represented by an order pair and in this order pair you have two conditions isn't it you have two condition and the first one is known as x coordinate this is known as suppose this is the order pair okay and in this order pair this is known as x coordinate and this part is known as y coordinate y coordinate clear now what is x coordinate what is y coordinate let us clear about it okay suppose here is a point here is a point and the name of the point is a so in order to reach this point you have to first go through x axis and you have to go to optimum two units isn't it see one unit then one unit you have to go through two units and again you have to go towards the top and in top you have also go to or go up to two units to reach at this point a so you have to first go through x axis up to how much unit two unit similarly in the y axis you have to go to how much units see how much units two units understood now this is the positive direction of x axis so it is plus 2 and towards the top it is the positive direction of y axis so it is plus 2 clear so this is an order pair and in this order pair this is the x coordinate and this one is y coordinate right so what is x coordinate see in order to reach at this point you have to first go through two units that means x coordinate is the distance it is the distance this is what y axis and you have to first go to or go through two units so it is the distance from y axis or you can say it is the perpendicular distance from y axis so x coordinate is the perpendicular distance from y axis you can write it what is x coordinate it is the perpendicular distance from y axis okay similarly then after reaching at this point 2 you have to go towards the top okay that means you have suppose this is the x axis and you have to reach at this point that means you have to reach at this point 2 okay so this point is the distance this plus 2 is the distance from x axis so this is the perpendicular distance from x axis so y coordinate is the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance from x axis clear again i can take one more example okay suppose here is a point uh, suppose here is a point okay so in order to reach at this point you have to start your journey from origin so you have to go through 
this direction towards x axis towards the positive direction of x axis now you have to first go through three units then from that three units you have to go towards the down towards the down so first you have to go through x axis out of how much units three units and this is known as x coordinate then you have to go through down that means towards the negative direction of y axis up to how much unit see up to how much unit this is 3 so this is 3 because it is a rectangle if it is 3 then it is also 3 na so this is also 3 but here the x axis or x coordinate is positive but here the y coordinate is negative understood this is y coordinate So what is x coordinate? So x coordinate means you have to first go through the point three. Clear? Suppose this is a point. This is y axis. This is y axis. So first you have to go through this direction. That means you have to go through this direction. So the point or the y x coordinate is the distance from y axis. It is the perpendicular distance from y axis. Then you have to go through this direction. So what? This is the point, and this is your x-axis. Okay. So we have to go through minus three unit. That means it is the perpendicular distance from x-axis. I think now you are clear what is x coordinate, what is y coordinate. This is the basic difference between x and y coordinate. X coordinate means it is the perpendicular distance from y-axis, and y coordinate means it is the perpendicular distance from x-axis. And now we can easily identify. Which one is the x coordinate and which one is the y coordinate of a given point representing in a plane or representing in a Cartesian coordinate system? Since it is a Cartesian coordinate system, and in this Cartesian coordinate system, this section, this one fourth, is known as quadrant one. This one fourth is quadrant two. This is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. Okay. Suppose we will take a point in the quadrant one. if this is a point whose name is a okay and this point's coordinates are 3 2 then can we identify what is the x coordinate and what is the y coordinate of course we can identify here the first condition the first term is known as the x coordinate understood so here the x coordinate is 3 and the second condition is known as the y coordinate okay so here y coordinate is 2 this is the y coordinate okay and this point lies in the quadrant 1 here let us take one more example suppose we will take a point here in quadrant 3 okay suppose the name of the point is a and its coordinates are minus 4 minus 2 okay now let us find its x coordinate and y coordinate so in this case the first one is known as the x coordinate and the second one is the y coordinate clear and here you can see the x coordinate has negative value why it has negative value the y coordinate also have the negative value why now since this point lies in the quadrant 3 Okay, this point lies in the quadrant three, and this quadrant three has two axes. See, this is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. And the x-axis has all the negative value. So, I am writing the negative sign for x-coordinate. Similarly, the y-axis towards the down or towards the bottom has also the negative value. That's why the y-coordinate also bears the negative sign here. Okay, so by Seeing a point, we can identify which one is the x coordinate, which one is the y coordinate. As well as, we can say without looking into the diagram in which quadrant this point will lie. Clear? So let's take an example, and you will answer it. Suppose I am taking a point. I don't know in which quadrant the point will lie. You have to say. Okay. Suppose there is a point, and the name of the point is A. And the coordinate of the point is minus two, three. Now your question, your question is in which quadrant 
if which a quadrant this point will lie okay so you have to say in which quadrant out of the four quadrant it will lie so first see since this is a point a and its x coordinate is minus 2 this is the x coordinate and its y coordinate is 3 this is the y coordinate here and the sign of the x coordinate is negative and the sign of the y coordinate is positive hence the point has the order pair of negative and positive as i have told you out of this four quadrant which quadrant has the sign negative and positive the quadrant 2 has the sign negative and positive why because in quadrant 2 it has two axes one is x and one is y and in x axis all the values are negative so negative comes first and in y quadrant or in y axis it has all the value positive so the y coordinate bears the value of positive sign okay one more question so one more point is here whose name is b and its coordinates are 4 minus 2. Then can you say in which quadrant this point will lie? See here, 4 is the x coordinate. Okay. And minus 2 is the y coordinate. Here and x coordinate has positive sign. Y coordinate has negative sign. So now identify out of four quadrant which quadrant has this sign positive and negative. See in quadrant one here x axis has positive sign and y axis has also positive sign. This is quadrant one. And in quadrant two x axis has negative sign and y axis has positive sign. And in quadrant three x axis has negative, y axis has negative. In quadrant four, this is quadrant four. X axis is positive, y axis is negative. Hence, this point will lie in quadrant four. Okay. So, without seeing the diagram, we can easily say in which quadrant a point will lie. Clear? Now, you are understood about how to identify the x coordinate as well as the y coordinate of a given point. Okay. If it's coordinates are given in the form of order pair okay now we will find out the coordinate of a given point if only point is given okay if any point is given we will going to find out its coordinate its position how suppose here is a point here is a point now our task our task find the coordinate of the point b suppose the name of the point is b so we have to find out the coordinate of this point okay coordinate means we have to find out its exact position or exact location okay so let's find out so in order to reach at b we have to start our journey from origin okay from origin so from origin we have to go in x axis direction or go through right side direction and we have to go up to how much units four units you can see you have to go through four units and after four units you have to go towards the top or upward like this you have to go like this okay so first you have to go x axis up to 4 units and then you have to go towards y axis topmost position is y axis up to how much units see you, if you can draw a perpendicular line towards the point then you can see it will form a rectangle rectangle means draw two lengths are equal and the two breadths are equal that means our target is to find this distance since this distance is given how much it is it is 2 unit that means this distance also 2 units 
and this distance is 4 units clear so you can write the coordinate of this point is 4 because x axis it will go 4 units and in y axis it will go 2 units clear and both the signs are positive now you can easily find out the coordinate of this point b okay let us take one more example suppose i am going to find the coordinate of a point which is placed at this point okay suppose this point is b clear so my target is to find out its coordinate so i have to find out its coordinate i have to start my journey from the origin and moves towards the left of x axis towards the negative value of x axis okay so move towards this unit how much unit i have to cross i have to cross how much units three units in negative value of x axis clear now from the point 3 i have to move towards the upward okay so i have to move towards this direction clear now this distance is 3 units now my target is to find out this distance okay so for this i have to draw a perpendicular line line like this okay so that it will be a rectangle and we know in a rectangle the two breadths are equal and the two lengths are equal clear since this is this is how much units two units that means this must be two units clear now so what is the coordinate of this point in the first condition i have to write the x coordinate and here x coordinate is three unit because what is x coordinate x coordinate is the perpendicular distance from the y axis if this is a point okay and this is y axis then the distance is x coordinate what is the distance 3 units so this is 3 and the y coordinate is 2 clear now i have to write the sign in quadrant 2 here the x coordinates or the x values are negative values so the x coordinate bears a negative sign similarly in quadrant 2 the y axis has all the positive value that is why the y coordinate has positive value so in this way you can find out the coordinate of any point placed at anywhere ok similarly one condition arises here ok suppose here is a point ok here is a point ok and the name of the point is A now you have to find out its coordinate Okay, that means you have to find out this x coordinate and y coordinate. How we can find out? Since this point lies on which axis? It lies on x axis. Okay. So our target is to reach at this point. So we have to start our journey from the origin as such. So from the origin you have to go towards the positive direction of x axis up to how much units? Up to 3 units. So this is 3 units. Now, at this point, you already reach at your goal. You do not need to move towards the top or towards the bottom. Here you reach at your goal. That means, towards y axis, we do not need to move. So what is the coordinate of y axis? The coordinate of y axis is 0 because we do not need to move towards top or bottom as the point is lying on x axis so the x coordinate is 3 but the y coordinate is 0 why because we do not need to move towards any positive or negative value or negative direction of y axis clear and suppose one more point you can take okay suppose here is a point then what is its coordinate let's find out so in order to reach at this point you have to first start a journey from this and move towards the positive direction of x axis up to 5 units. So, x coordinate of this point is 5. Okay. Now, here you reach at your goal and you do not need to move towards top or bottom. Hence, the y coordinate is 0. Clear? Okay. This is the coordinate. Now, you can add the sign. Okay. Since here the x coordinate has the value positive so it 
here positive value and zero is a special number it has no positive or negative sign so here coordinate of this point is 5 0 understood so here we get a conclusion that if the point will lie in this then we get that its coordinate is 3 0 so here or in this two situation we got a conclusion there what is the conclusion if any point will lie on x axis then its y coordinates are 0 okay let's write it if any point lie on x axis then is which coordinate y coordinate y coordinate must be 0 ok let's check it out suppose any point lie on the negative direction of x axis suppose here so we have to find out the coordinate of this point ok so we have to start our journey moves towards the negative direction or towards the left or left side so we have to cross how much units 3 units then here we reach at our destination we do not need to move towards the top or bottom that means its y coordinate is 0 and its x coordinate is 3 now put its sign since this is the negative value of x axis so you can write minus 3 0 and here also you can see if the point lie on x axis this is x axis then its y coordinate is 0 understood so this is note 1 okay this is the first concept now coming to the second concept if a point lie on y axis okay if a point lie on y axis suppose here is the point here is the point and you need to find its coordinate okay so you have to first start your journey from origin okay this is the origin as i have told you the first condition will be x coordinate okay that means you have to move towards the x axis direction now since the point lies just at the top of this point top of the origin if this is the origin suppose this is the origin okay this is the point then you do not need to move towards this direction because the point that you want to reach will be just at the top of this point understood you do not need to move towards this direction or you do not need to move towards this direction clear so here we do not need to move towards x axis so x coordinate of this point is 0 understood but you have to move towards top up to how much units 2 units in positive direction of y axis that is why it is y coordinate is 2 and the sign is plus right one more example if a point will lie in this axis and we need to find its coordinate clear so we have to start our journey from origin if this is the origin okay this cap is the origin then we have to reach at this then do we need to move towards this direction no we do not need to move towards this direction either this direction we have to directly move towards y axis we do not need to move towards x axis that is why its coordinate is 0 the x coordinate is 0 and in order to reach at this point we have to move across 3 units towards the negative direction of y axis ok this is 3 units so the y coordinate is 3 since this is the negative value of y axis so its y coordinate is minus so from this two condition you can get the conclusion that if any point lies on y axis okay then its which coordinate is zero its x coordinate is zero okay this is the note 2 if any point lie on y axis then its x coordinate must be 0 clear 
if it lie on x axis then its y coordinate is zero and if it lie on y axis then its x coordinate is zero these are the two basic conditions of cartesian coordinate system